Well, more O.J. Simpson news. On Friday, the Juice officially endorsed Bill Clinton for president, adding, adding, quote, I'd like to help him any way I can. To which the president replied, well, there is one thing. After initially vowing never to rest until his wife's killers are brought to justice, O.J. Simpson this week changed his pledge slightly. He now vows to have sex with hot-looking models. <laughs> While in England, where he spoke at Oxford University, Simpson had defended actor Marlon Brando's criticism of Hollywood Jews. Later, from his island hideaway, Brando sent O.J. a telegram which read, You're not helping. <laughs> During a recent interview in 2020, longtime O.J. Simpson friend Robert Kardashian said he now believes Simpson may be guilty. Though he did add that had he believed O.J. was guilty at the time, he never would have agreed to hide his bloody clothes and knife. <laughs> Testimony during the final week provided some spellbinding moments. In a brilliant move during closing arguments, Simpson attorney Johnny Cochran put on the knit cap prosecutors say O.J. wore the night he committed the murders. Although O.J. may have heard his case when he suddenly blurted out, hey, hey, easy with that. That's my lucky stabbing hat. <laughs> Against the Jets last week, Buffalo Bills running back Thurman Thomas broke O.J. Simpson's career rushing record, and the week before, he surpassed Simpson in career touchdowns. Next up for Thomas, an attempt to kill three people at once. <laughs> in sworn testimony this week, Paula Barbieri admitted that she had broken up with O.J. Simpson the very night Nicole Brown Simpson was killed. Boy, that had to be a tough day for O.J., huh? First he gets dumped by his girlfriend, then Colombian hitmen kill his wife. Man, that's... You gotta... In his civil court deposition this week, O.J. Simpson denied under oath that he ever punched, kicked, or slapped his ex-wife, Nicole. Oh, great. As if O.J. isn't busy enough tracking down the real killers, now he's got to track down the real wife beater, too. It's... <laughs> this guy... This guy is just crazy. O.J. Simpson was in a different courtroom this week, attempting to regain custody of his two children. In order to prove to the court how much he loves his kids, O.J. pointed out, quote, Hey, they're still alive, aren't they? According to researchers in Australia, koala bears have fingerprints so close to those of human beings that they could easily be, mis be mistaken by police at the scene of a crime. It should be noted, however, that the research was funded by O.J. Simpson. So. <laughs> Arriving back in the U.S. after his week in London, O.J. Simpson was asked by a reporter why he hadn't spent Mother's Day with his children. A visibly annoyed Simpson replied, Idiot, I didn't spend Mother's Day with my kids because I killed their mother. <laughs> testimony this week at a civil trial, O.J. Simpson said he didn't commit suicide only because, quote, my mother told me you don't go to heaven if you kill yourself. Oddly, his mother did say, quote, it's okay to kill other people. It's... <laughs> At his civil trial in Los Angeles this week, O.J. Simpson attorneys began their case with an attack on Nicole Brown Simpson's character. Outraged Brown family lawyers responded, quote, Nicole is a victim. No matter what she did, she certainly did not cut her own throat. To which Simpson's attorneys replied, On the contrary, that is precisely what we intend to prove. <laughs> The first place in Weekend Update's most romantic Valentine contests 
goes to David Delaferra of Kearney, New Jersey. Yesterday, Mr. Delaferra, who works as a fireman here in the city, climbed the ladder of a fire truck up to the third floor office window of his girlfriend, Alexandra. There, with a dozen roses and a wedding ring, he proposed to her in front of all her co-workers. Congratulations, David. And coming in last place for the third year in a row, O.J. Simpson. <laughs> the announcement of the verdict came toward the end of President Clinton's annual State of the Union address, and to many observers, completely overshadowed the event. Even the president was distracted during his speech, waiting to hear exactly how much it costs to kill your wife. <laughs> Well, this week, after a Los Angeles restaurant refused to seat him, O.J. Simpson demanded and got $500 in compensation. In addition, the restaurant must now offer separate murderer and non-murderer sections. <laughs> also this week, a California newspaper revealed that O.J. Simpson was awarded custody of his children mainly because a court-ordered psychological test showed that he is a loving father. It should be noted, however, that the same test also showed that he was a loving husband. <laughs> Also this week, a California newspaper revealed that O.J. Simpson was awarded custody of his children mainly because a court-ordered psychological test showed that he is a loving father. It should be noted, however, that the same test also showed that he was a loving husband. 